Hello to the tech community out there and welcome to this episode of Tech with Cradle. My name is Chris. Today, we'll be importing some existing AWS resources into Terraform using the new import block feature in Terraform 1.5. Import is a feature in Terraform that allows you to import existing infrastructure into Terraform code. Prior to the version 1.5 of Terraform, import process were quite manual using the import command line but starting in version 1.5 is now becoming a more streamlined process with import block what does an import workflow look like it's a pretty straightforward process first identify the resources that you intend to import from their origin and in this example it's going to be from aws with all their details as well as their resource id write the terraform code to match those resource definition and in version 1.5 you can actually use the auto config generation feature to generate that piece of code for your resource next you will have to define an import file containing all the import block of the resources that you intend to import then you move to the command line and run terraform in it terraform plan and finally terraform apply to import the resources take note when you are happy with the import process you can now delete the import file that you generated earlier. Let's jump into the demo. We're importing a VPC, an IGW, and as well as eight subnets. As previously specified, my resource definition in the main file with the VPC, the IGW, and all the eight subnets. There are two subnets per, per resource definition using a loop. I have my import block file where I've defined each resource that needs to be imported. Here we have the, the ID of the resource which is retrieved from, in this particular example, from AWS. The VPC ID here is exactly what you have in AWS. And then we have the IGW followed by all the rest. Now let's go to the command line. We start with Terraform init to initialize the module. This process sometimes can take some few seconds. We can run Terraform state list to just see the state of our state file. And as you can see, there's no state file. Now let's proceed with Terraform plan. This will actually go to Terraform, scan the resources based on the ID that you have provided and return an output. And as you can see over here, 10 resources that are going to be imported. This is an interesting catch. In this particular import, we can see that we have 10 imports, 0 to add, 10 to change. And what is that 10 to change means? That means that there's a, a little bit of mismatch between the configuration that we've defined and what is available in AWS. And in this example, I think the tag is now the same. And this is a, this is a perfect catch when it comes to importing. The resource definition must be identical to the one you have in your source uh, definition. Otherwise, there will be changes in your configuration during the import. Now, let's quickly go and fix that. We just go to the variable over here and change this one from Cradle to MKC, as this is what is showing over here, and run Terraform plan once again. And this time, we should be expecting um, 10 imports and zero change. Now let's just simply run Terraform apply to import all these 10 resources. Here we go. Now we can just simply tap the yes. And that is done. We have the 10 resource imported. Apply completed, 10 resource imported, zero add, zero change, zero destroy. Now that the import is completed successfully, we can now review the state file again. If we do the Terraform state list, we can see the state file has some contents, and these are all the resources in a total of 10. Back in our Terraform directory, there's a new file that has been created called Terraform state file. This is actually the state file of the configuration, and this holds all the detail related to the import that we've done. This files must never be changed, as this could result into the corruption of your state file as well as your infrastructure. To conclude this session, let's tear down the entire infrastructure from Terraform using the Terraform destroy command. Let's go into the refresh process. 
Now we have zero add, zero change, and 10 destroy. Now we can simply type yes. Now here we go, all the 10 resources have been deleted. Now if we go to AWS and we refresh this page, we notice that subnets are no more available. And also if we refresh the entire page, the VPC that we actually imported is no more there. This brings us to the end of this video. If you have any question or contribution, tap it in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumb up and don't forget to press the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.